Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, welcome back to Ask Jonathan. So we're going to get into this week's question, uh, which comes by, I love this name, I love this name by the way, Chili Got Benched, and he or she uh, asks, a lot of people say that few make it in the business, and I was wondering, were you one of the best in your class, or did you just work really hard? If you didn't attend school, oh, well, that was all one question there, I apologize. Um, so he's got like two or three questions here, so I'll just answer them as we go. And we'll reread that one. A lot of people say that very few make it in the business. And I was wondering, were you one of the best in your class or did you just work really hard since I didn't attend school? Um, I, I, I suppose I should just clarify really quickly. I did attend school. Um, I went to college uh, for an animation course. And it was a three-year course and I dropped out about a year and a half in. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why. The majority of it was that I just didn't feel like I was learning anything. And not in a conceited way or anything like that. Um, but... I don't know if some of you guys uh, feel the same way. I've talked to people about this before, about you know things that they go through when they go to school and all that stuff. But it's like it just wasn't happening fast enough. And by happening, I don't mean like I wasn't making like big checks and stuff like that. I just mean it seemed like the course was really slow. You know, like I was really into the anatomy and you know uh, trying to get expression and storytelling, but it just seemed like. There were, you know, the fundamentals, which are basic in everything, like, you know, if you need to learn how to draw anatomy, you need to know how to draw, like, circles and squares and stuff like that, how to combine them, especially in animation. But uh, it just seemed like it was just moving too slow. I don't know. Um, from the people that I did talk to, not many people actually did any kind of artwork outside of actually going to school. When I was done school, um, you know, going to the part-time job that I had at the time, uh, I'd be sketching there. Uh, as soon as I got home, I would be sketching when I got home. Um, you know, I played video games, played some Magic the Gathering, all that kind of stuff. But uh, a majority of my time was spent, uh, you know, with either my girlfriend at the time or drawing. and Or just trying to, like, copy the video games I was playing. Like, I've told you guys before, a big Street Fighter fan. And the way that they would do anatomy and stuff like that, like, I would pause the screen and draw that stuff all the time. Anyway, so I, I wouldn't necessarily say, you know that, you know, going to your question about, like, was I the best in my class? I, you know, I wouldn't say I was. I don't think there's a best of in anything. There, there's people that are noticeably more talented uh, only because they probably spend more time, you know, learning the fundamentals or just trying to get better. And I think it just comes down to a personal preference for yourself, you know? Like, do you... I hear people say it all the time. Do you want it bad enough and all that stuff? But really what that means is, what are you doing outside of work to get better? Do you get up earlier to draw? Do you keep going in your sketchbook try, trying to learn anatomy? Uh, are you trying to get better at storytelling? What, what are you doing? Do you watch uh, movies, those making ofs, you know, like the documentaries and stuff or the behind the scenes um, commentary where like how they try to get like emotion and story in there? Like what else are you doing to get better at what you want to do? I don't know. It's up to you. Um, some people, they have a knack for picking things up faster than others. And if you're one of those fortunate people, abuse the hell out of that. Think about like the mileage you'll gain just by you know getting in there. So to go back over your question, because I think I'm just kind of going over there. Um, do a lot of people make it in the business? Uh, for the business that you're talking about, unless, if you're talking about like the big name stuff, like the big publishers and all that, uh, yeah, a few do. And it's, it's very evident. Um, when I was at the New York Comic Convention, that's just one convention out of many, you're asked uh, for the Marvel and DC stuff to basically submit a portfolio into a giant bin that everybody's throwing their stuff into. And um, it's an eye-opener because you get to really see the other talent that's out there. And it makes your small world or your studio that you work in huge because everybody's doing that. You're not alone. Everybody's trying to get the same jobs. Um, so, yeah, very few people do make it because when they do make it, you know, it's still survival of the fittest. you got to keep getting better. you got to keep making people want to buy your product because at the end of the day these companies that you're submitting to they're just making a product and yeah you know the people that make it and some of the people to hire up they care about story and stuff like that and really telling really cool comic books but ultimately they're selling you a product right all of this stuff is about selling things so if you can't sell something they're gonna look somewhere else to somebody else that can sell it so that's why I think lately there's a huge boom right now for people doing independent work through Kickstarter, through um, free online web comics, YouTube videos like I'm doing, other things like that. People are getting tired of sitting around waiting for big publishers to pick them up. You can make a living yourself just working on your own content. 
You might not be making stacks of money, you know, but you're able to tell your own stuff, your own creations and things. So I wouldn't worry about making it in the business because I think now, especially now, especially with the internet and the way things are going, you can make your own business. You can be an entrepreneur. You can, you know, freelance to your heart's content. It'll be brutal amounts of work, late hours. Um, I guess you'll be happy, you know, you're creating and stuff, but it's, it's work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. Um, so don't worry about it about the, the small few that get into the publishing stuff. Just worry about making the best things that you can make and that you're proud of and that you can, you know, continually work and improve on. Um, another part of the question, I think... Uh, how did you decide that you wanted to go into art? Uh, I've been drawing for, uh, since I was a little guy, um, Ninja Turtles, all sorts of things. Um, in high school, there was this the college that I dropped, <laughs> that I ended up dropping out of, they came to our high school, and I, I remember it vividly, they were there promoting the new uh, animation uh, class that they had, and what they were saying was, yeah, you know, Disney comes and, you know, they recruit from us and things, and I remember, I don't know why, but I was like, I want to I wanna go into that because Disney is huge, and you must make a lot of money, I had no idea what animators made, what animation even meant, I just knew it meant drawing, so that's why I went to that, uh, but you know, over time, I mean, as I'm getting older, like I'm almost, uh, by the end of this year, I'll be 30. I'm still working in a retail job, you know. Uh, it's very evident now that if if my art continues to go the way it is, if I'm not able to make the transition to be able to do this stuff full time, you know, like, um, like what I just talked about in the beginning, I'm going to be doing retail for the rest of my life or factory work, you know. And that's not a slight or a, against anybody that does that as their job. Um, you, you're probably in the same boat as I am. You probably wanted to do something else that you couldn't get into or for whatever reason just didn't work out. So I've come to terms with that and that's fine for me. Um, but it's extra motivation to light that fire under your ass, to work harder, to try to do things like, you know, that I'm trying to do here, reach out to more people, giving you guys some sort of content so that I can get something out of it. I, I don't know, it sounds a little selfish when I say it like that, but, you know, recording videos, sharing things that I'm coming across, it's another way for me to, you know, make money and stuff like that. So anyway, long story short, um, how did I decide that I wanted to go into art? Uh, I just love drawing. I love telling stories and comics and sharing it with people. So if I'm able to do that and make some sort of money off of it, awesome. Awesome. It lets me do it for the rest of my life until the day that I die. Um, and the very last one, uh, did you find yourself good enough? Did you find yourself good enough for it or was it pure interest? Um... I think I know what you're trying to say there. Uh, definitely it was an interest. Um, again, video games, I've played video games for a very long time. A lot of the Capcom stuff, Mega Man, um, Ninja Turtles, TV shows like He-Man, Transformers to a degree, Power Rangers, big time. All that stuff, there's something magical about it that um, I couldn't get anywhere else. I couldn't go to school. There's a few people I could talk to about video games especially. But I couldn't go to people and just, you know, oh, hey, you know, let's just talk about Ninja Turtles. What? A lot of people don't even care. <laughs> and uh, so it was more of a thing that, and most of you that are watching, you probably have a similar interest to it like that, where it's like something happened while you were younger, and it just stuck with you. And over time, as you draw, ideally you should be getting better. There's a moment in your life, usually when you're younger, um, and if not, that's cool if you're just getting into drawing now. But there's a moment where all of a sudden what you're drawing isn't good enough. And that could be today, that could have been yesterday, it could be next month. But eventually, you're going to start to continually say that to yourself. My art's not good enough. And in a positive way, not a negative way, like, oh, I'm just going to stop throwing the pen stuff. In a positive way, meaning, what do I need to do to improve? What do I need to look at? What do I need to ultimately do? Do I need to buy art books? Do I need to keep watching YouTube videos? Do I need to ask people for help? Um, or do I just need to make comics in, in this uh, instance? You just got to ask what it is that you want. And ultimately, I think everybody's answer is always like, I want to be successful or I want to be an artist and make money off of it. Great. Do it. Just remember that's going to be a lot of work and it's going to be some long hours. And, uh, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Compared to what you're doing now, unless you absolutely love what you're doing now, what you're going to get if you work hard should ultimately be better. And hopefully uh, you get some fun doing it. Anyway, thanks so much for your time, you guys. Uh, again, leave a little question in the uh, little comment box below, and I uh, will get to it next week. So take care, keep reading comics, keep making comics, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.